Greetings and welcome to Dyson Sphere Project. I'm G Green, and today we continue our let's play of this awesome game where we're just watching my Dyson Sphere fly across the sky. Sky, it's looking rather, rather brilliant. So uh, in today's episode, I have something rather special planned because uh, we start to go into some of the more late game. Now we have been doing it for a while, but uh, today we will look at protons. So if you look here, we can do the proton generation now. It is pretty much a process that generates uh, protons, if you look right here. It generates the critical protons, that's out of two inputs, that goes into crafting uh, the antimatter and such, which grows in, uh, goes into uh, a lot of the late game things, for example, our antimatter fuel rod. So in today's episode, I like I said, I want to set this one up to uh, actually be a bit better. So right now these are going, they're consuming power, generating some. And I want to set up a production to make, uh, to make them. So we have two things to do today. One, we need to set up a new ray receivers for the proton generation. And two, we need to expand out how much power the Dyson Sphere is producing. Because right now we're consuming 588, out of about 800 it's producing. But as soon as we shift these over, look how much more they're consuming at a time. It is uh, pretty ridiculous, so just hooking up a few of these will consume pretty much all the power that we can produce. So the way I want to do it, if you look right here, I want to just take a little tower. And for example, I'll do it inside this little cell block right here, starting it about here. Or maybe have this room for it. Uh, let's see. Right here. And what I want to do is, since this needs an output for, for those, I want to get maybe graviton lenses in to increase how fast they are, but also get the critical mass out. For now, I'll probably do it without, yeah, what's it called, without those. But oh, we need to go down one more, so we have to move it a bit. Do it without um, the graviton lenses, just to save a bit on, uh, on resources, as I can just place down more. So the way I want to build it in the future, I'll just show now. We'll do splitters, right here. Those will add in the graviton lenses in the future. For example, going out here. So let's see, you will pretty much be where you're at. Critical. There we are. Critical photon. Those go out, you'll just keep stacking those as high as you want. We also want graviton lenses in. And that's pretty much the two things we need. That means you will pretty much take graviton lenses out in the future, going this way. And in here, I'll probably do one just to show you how it works. And then we'll do it on the outside, right here. You'll output it back into the system. Whatever this generates. So firstly, let's just shift it to proton generation. Right now we're producing about 2.3 per minute. Increasing as this goes up. If we add in graviton lenses, I'll just show you here, we can consume a bit more. And so you can just stack up as high as you want, just want a few of you, let's say 200. Uh, storage, and please local demand those. A small amount of power to get this going. There we are. And now we have graviton lenses flying in. Only six, that's not a lot. I thought we had more in storage. I'm quite sure we have more in storage. Let's just check our little production over here. No, everything's been consumed somewhere. Impressive. Probably our green science. But if we look right here, now it takes 0 0.25 per minute of graviton lenses. I'll just stop this one again. And produces four something. That also means we'll consume a lot more of, of this uh, for the power. So now we're producing all critical photons. 
Let's just hook up a few more along the lines of these. So this should work as well, just without uh, the graviton lenses, since uh, I rather want to save that power or those resources a bit yet. So this is pretty much just an output side for now. All the way to the end, please. And you can just output to this one. Did we change its process generation? We did. Look at that, we are already just with these consuming all the power that our Dyson Sphere is producing. So, um, yeah, that's something we'll have to look at and something we have to keep an eye on. And that also leads us to the second thing we need to do today, and that is expand how fast we're building the Dyson Sphere. Because right now, we have a few solar sails producing and we have one rocket launching. And what I think will be very, very cool while this is building up, is that we expand it out with the... Uh, we can do... Let's just do 20 of these, whatever fits in. And then do solar sails as well, just to uh, max it out. And just get an insane amount of production going, and then we're going to consume an insane amount of resources. I think that would be rather cool. So let's just fly down this way, through our massive production area. That's consuming pretty much everything we can produce at the moment, or at least a lot of it. And let's go up here to the South Pole. Right now we have one launching. And I kind of want to make a ring of these around this one, and then do a ring with the solar um, sails as well. I think we put some down right here. This could be our row for these, just continuing it around until it's full. And the uh, yeah, making room for, for these as well, in one of the other ones. So the thing is, can we fit it in here quite easily? It does take a lot of room. Let's just remove some of these. And let's see, how can we fit you in? Start right there, you will be on the line. A rocket able to go through this, that would be the optimal situation. So what if we just start you... Let's, let's see right here. Let's get the tower in first. Uh, there. Let's see how many of you can fit in. Um, yeah, let's start it. Right, that might be good. And then for the, the test... Oh, coal lane. Let's just bury a few of you. Do I do want to... Get some of you moved out. There we are. Let's see, can we just line you up very nicely? Because if you go all the way around this, that would be insane. We could also do this on another planet, but uh, I like having everything being launched from here. I think that looks rather cool. Still needs about 3,000 more rockets for the parts we have at the moment. So let's see. We in theory have it going in here, but that will remove in a bit. So you want rockets in. To be honest, there's no need to be do a, a interstellar logistic one other than I like having it because it looks kind of cool. Let's do a hundred. Let's grab just some drones from this one to stop it. And then let's see if we can actually get this going. Bit of power would be nice. This work in between. Let's take them out from the bottom one right here. And into... It can go into that one. That's just the input for the rocket, so we have to actually put them in. Is it able to grab from here and take him down the line? That is what I want to test, so let's give me some of you, so we can test it out. Add you in here. Are you able to grab it to the one down the line? Too far. What if we do this then? I won't out. Yeah, we'll have to move this a bit, or get it some other way. 
Let's get you removed. Let's, let's change this a bit. What if we have the line going here instead of the solar? This bit cramped. We could also go over here instead and one of these going the opposite way with those. And let's see. It has to go in on the side. Oh, if we just turn it, then we have what looks like enough room. And then it will go on the south side. Let's try that. We do have enough room down here. Let's see, what if we do this instead? You can go away. And you can go along. You can go not here, but you can go out here. But then we can see you and hopefully you can reach. You can. So that would actually be quite good just doing this all the way around. I think that's the setup we're gonna go with. So why don't we do that? Let's fill these in. There's a bit with a boundary box that maybe they can touch each other like that. Looking quite good. Let's get all this wind away. What do we have here? That's cold going to that one. Get us enough cold. That's fine. And let's see. We'll have to move you guys a bit. Or maybe just moving this towel somewhere else is actually the easiest part of all of this. Let's see, that's 4,000 left. It's almost nothing. But I kind of want it to be mined out before we do anything. To not leave it here. That always looks a bit stupid to do. Let's just get you hooked up quickly. And fixed in. As you get that mined out in no time at all. These though. Let's just get you away and you away. Disconnecting you here. You here. And giving ourselves a bit of room for more of these. Might have to do the tower down here below instead. Just for a little while. Oh, this is not even connected up any of this. Hmm. Entire area I forgot to connect up. Well, that's just brilliant. And let's take you just to get you sorted. And go in there and you can go in there and might not need the coal yet but I probably will at some point so that will give us the coal in and that'll get requested but it gives us the room we need to continue along this line removing our wind as we go until we have the amount down we want. Let's get you away, please. There we go. So as soon as this is done, I have a feeling that it's going to be very, very cool. How many was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The twelve stats one per second i think we want to go with that for now let's get all of you around to here Ooh, outside building range let's just remember to build before we go too far so there we are you can go all the way to there then a bit of power in between you can pretty much just go here Wherever it's possible to put it. That's looking very good.
Now look at that. That will give us one per second launched. That's one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think this is correct. Let's just count them on the way back while we hook up our uh, inserters. And then we'll see this thing in action. And then we need a lot more solar sails as well. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. One per second running at full speed. That means this will take an hour to launch the rest of the, the structures we need. And that's gonna be that's gonna look cool. Boom, we did have an issue with the power now. Well, let's just solve that as well. And then we're almost good to go. In terms of getting uh, this little thing going. God, I think this is gonna look cool. No idea if I can support uh, this many. Uh, I think we built the base, at least the crafting area, more than uh, big enough to handle this. So, uh, how did I skip? How did I skip two? Weird. So let's request in the things we need. We have some drones here. Let's request storage and demand. That's going to be enough for two minutes, so that's just, that's not 200. That's going to be enough for four minutes of continuously uh, launching these rockets. It also means we should just mantle the thing back here. So this one stops. It has done a fantastic job. But now let's, uh, let's watch this go. But look at this. Now we are really, really cooking. With that. Then more will go as soon as these connects up. We just need to get them delivered fast enough. We'll get a bit faster just so it gets delivered. And if you look on the... Oh, look at that. And if you look at the map now. Brilliant. Did it go all the way to the end? Did. Oh, that looks so cool. <laughs> I love the way they're launching. Like this. That. Oh, that looks so good. So now we have these launching. If you look here at the map, <laughs> there is a pretty hefty traffic now going towards the Dyson Sphere. Look. At that, a massive amount of going here as well. You just see a constant stream going out, filling in everything we need here, and uh, getting things going. Also means we should probably start the research for the next one here. This is going to tax our base uh, insanely, but that is exactly what we want to do. So if you look at how much we're generating power now, that's going to increase quite quickly now. Of course, we need more solar sails, and that is the second thing we'll hook up. Right now we have these, they don't fire all the time. That is uh, just the way it is. We have some going this way. I might go the other way with these, just because we don't have to go through the coal then. Or maybe just fill it up all the way to the end. To get... Oh, <laughs> look at our power. 1.2 gigawatts. We might be uh, we might be overkilling a bit on these. How much power do they cost? Uh, more than we can handle at, at the moment, at least. So um, yeah, eighteen megawatts of uh, working consumption. All of these are working. That means we have a bit more than two hundred megawatts getting fired here. Then we have all of our labs going as well at the moment, so uh, that means everything is pretty much firing up at the moment and we need more than one gigawatt of power to support this. We're, we're not doing that. 
Uh, one way to help it along a small amount. I might disable some of those. 12 might be overkill so far. It's just hooking up this one. To get a bit more power into the system. That's gonna help a small amount. Not, uh, not enough, but it's gonna help us a bit. So we're about here now. This is gonna give us 400, so we are lacking. Yeah, about 400 power still. We're looking here. Now we're also getting the critical photons. That is actually the most important thing, because then we can start to get two of our other things made. So we can get to antimatter fuel rods and get into artificial artificial sun even. That's gonna be, uh, be very good in terms of uh, generating the power we need. Because that is quite bad. But to make sure that our entire production chain doesn't shut down, let's go and disable some of our uh, rockets up here. Let's do... What if we do half? One, two, three, four, five, six. So what if we disable you right here? Of course you have quite a bit of rockets to launch still. And uh, I might just let you do that and then you'll power down a bit in a little bit. Wow, look at the generation, it's going up incredibly fast. Hmm. About one megawatt every five seconds? Oh, maybe every ten seconds. So that's actually, that's going to give us a lot of power going forward. Of course, it does mean that we might have to uh, get more in back here. And of course, we want to launch more solar sails as well. So you are generating the power. The already 1.4 gigawatts is what we're requesting out of 800 something. So um, yeah, it is it is slacking behind. It doesn't matter if you if you throw in even more um, gravity and lens because we're not producing enough power yet. But we will get to that point very very soon. So let's fly up this way. The second thing I wanted to hook up, you can go where you cost power. The second thing I want to hook up was the solar sails, because right now they are launching, they are filling it, but if you look here at a Dyson Sphere, that's being constructed incredibly quick. We do require um, quite a bit of sill points. 1000 solar sails for all these, these require 1,000 as well. All of these are actually quite expensive to get done. So let's just hook up more of you. No tall buildings in the muscle. Um, why am I allowed to build? Oh, it's because of you, maybe. Always the wind. That's uh, annoying us. Oh, yeah, I was just the wind. Here. Let's just get all of you launched to, to orbit. Then let's launch solar sails for days. I think this will be good enough for now. Go to nine. They are launching 20 per minute. So that's going to be almost, it's going to be 180 per minute. And I think that'll be fine for now. to just get all of you going. You hooked up to one of them, one and two, yeah, just two, that's fine. Here are the inputs. So you can just start shooting the sun as well. So let's see now. A massive amount of rockets going, <laughs> flying out pretty darn quick from, uh, from here. Power is going up. Solar cells are going in, getting used. Flying pretty much just directly into our thing. And looking rather cool doing it. So, um, yeah. This is... Uh, this is insanely good. Our base is struggling in power, but... Then again, we are launching permanent power at the moment. So give it a few uh, 
minutes and it will be better. Of course, the generation is quite abysmal compared to what we need. But we are we are fixing that. So while these are launching, let's um, let's hook up the next part of our current little setup here. That is struggling quite bad in terms of power. And that is we want to hook up our uh, annihilation constraint sphere. Because that is needed for uh, for this one. We also need to hook up. Can I find you? I might be blind. We need to up the split. I had it somewhere. Oh yeah, right there. In a particle collider, but that is also rather expensive. But I think getting this will also be a good amount of power. 7.5 gigajoules of power. Yeah. I think we have to go towards artificial sun as well. But let's see, where do we have a good place to hook these up and start to craft them? Could in theory start to hook them up here in the middle. So the middle might be overkill. I might want to move it up a bit. Because this is a bit slower production wise. But I want to steal the best production areas. So let's take you away. You can go away. You are fine. You still need you to consume these. Let's get this one out as well. So we can get this area cleared out. And hook you up. Just over here. So let's see. We have one starting, let's see, this is a new area, so we have to fit them in somewhere around here. I'll just place these down to mark out the areas. One, two, three. Oh, lack of items. Thank God we have some just up here. In my horrible, horrible uh, setup. But I very much want to uh, get changed at some point. 20 more. Perfect. So let's get you hooked up in the same place as these. Since you'll start that, you can go away. Once I have one here. One right there. And one right here as well, I think. Seems correct. So why don't we just start with this one? Make it right here. Our new little setup. Let's just get these trees away. They are a bit annoying. Oh, wait. Yeah, we can't get them away like this. We can actually see what we're doing. Um, you're fine. We can just charge you and are stealing some power doing it, but um, yeah, that's good. So what we need to set up right here is let's set up the annihilation constraints uh, first. Because that's one of the things we need up here. Then we need the antimatter afterwards. And we'll probably just set up both of them now, since um, then we have what we need for the next episode. 20 seconds to make one. We'll probably need a few just in a normal replicator. That means we'll do a normal setup like we have done a few times now. As I started here. Doesn't mean you can output down that way. I want you to take these on both sides. I'm not quite sure how many we need of these for the simple reason that um, if you want to do one per second, if you do a crafting speed one, I know this is one and a half, that means we will need it's free per minute right now. That means if we have 20 of these, we'll get one per minute. One per second, sorry. 
I think 20 might be overkill, but let's just fill it up in case uh, we ever need him. We can do 10. That's pretty decent. No, let's, let's fill it up. Let's get the power in here. Doing it after 5. Just easy to manage. Oh, can't you normally reach? Oh, you can't reach them. Let's just do 4. So we can actually reach each other. Yeah, then we have 16. Just do two more on each of these, then we should be good. That should be 20. That is one per second. At crafting speed one. Means we'll take all of you all the way back to there. We want two outputs. Annihilation call. Store a thousand. Could in theory store more. Let's do a thousand for now. That one and that one. Mostly because I don't know how many we in theory need. So that. And we'll need some drones. Let's go and grab that. We should have them just over here. And drones. Grab some views, get some transfer one as well. Need to empty out the inventory soon, but uh, that's a thing I'll do in between episodes. But that is quite good. Let's go over this way. And right here is a new annihilation course. Power-wise, we are almost where we can support it again. And uh, that will fix in just a second. So let's see here. Two outputs. And it's same 1-1. One, one. That is fine. So we'll just do... You can go out this way. Down to the end. And... You can do the same, please. Let's see, then we'll need two out over here as well. And you. Then we need to get them all in. Let's see this way. Then let's do the same on the opposite side over here. We're going to produce quite a bit here. But uh, I'd rather fuse-proof myself because, yeah, we could we could build smaller. But um, why would we even do that when we can just go completely uh, ham with it and just build it this big? Because at some point we will use it. That I'm not too uh, scared about. Or worried about even. Let's get the last few of you in so we can actually output them as well. Then we're ready to get the inputs. Let's see here. Annihilation goal. So right now we're going to produce a thousand to storage. <laughs> and you'll be remote storage, remote storage. And let's just get a few of you. And a few of you. And say demand and demand. We should have some of it in storage. It seems we might be using more than I thought. But uh, yeah. There we are. That is looking very good. So that's going to give us our first annihilation call. That goes to input into some of these. 
and goes the other one and that goes the first course. And it seems a bottleneck will be the particle container where I'm making them just not fast enough for our current setup. So we might have to go and find more uh, unipolar magnets other than what we have. So annihilation constraints severe being produced. Very nice. Then we just need one more thing. We can just do that. I'll just right here next to it. And that is not this one, but that one. Requiring particle collider. And that I should have some of as well. If not, we'll go and grab some. And a few. So let's just go to our little mole area. Right here. And let's see particle. There we are. Let's give some of you. Uh, let's give me 20. Let's overkill it. Give me 10. They are rather expensive to run. There we go. 10 particle containers. And then we'll get more building. What is holding? That's fine. Let's just check. That's fine as well. You are not fine. You are just missing uh, the unipolar magnets. We, we, I'll probably go scouting for some of these in between episodes so we can actually uh, get our production increased. These are just shocking along. Solar cells would get filled as well. Let's see. We have some old sort of things here. Let's grab ourselves you. If you start here in the middle. You have quite a bit of room. Not quite sure how much space we need, but um, what if we start here and do something like that? Okay, we don't have an output in the middle. Taking it up this way. And you'll be mass energy storage. Hmm, mass energy storage. That gives hydrogen yet again that we need to use somewhere else. And the antimatter, which is uh, the main thing we need. Potential energy, 375 megajoules. Very, very nice. So one input on both sides. And output of the other two. So antimatter, you can just go. Hydrogen, you can also just go. I kind of wish there was some kind of push to the system thing. So just output everything to uh, to the system. Because right now we will have a massive surplus of this, which is a bit annoying. But uh, yeah, not much we can do about it in the current uh, state of things. Critical photons, you can just press some of those. Let's just say a thousand. They'll now fly in, fill up here, and that will actually be quite a bit of power we'll produce from those. That'll only get uh, better and better as we, uh, we go along. Let's start just with these. Uh, there we are. And you can go down to here. And in. And in right here. Give you a small amount of power will always be good. And let's continue over this way to get the rest of you hooked up. So here we go. Our part of the container is moving and grooving. At least this one. And that will output. Oh wait, we need outputs. That will output all the things we need. Please output here and here. Look at that. We now have anti-matter. So uh, that will slowly build up. Hydrogen will also build up. We might store that at some point. 500 already. Damn. That's quite a lot of those. But then again, they will generate power for us, and that is the main reason why we are producing them. Can I just fit in two more? Just enough room, perfect. 
Because then I think as soon as we've built this, I think it's a rather good place to stop so we can look at the artificial sun tomorrow. I think that would be uh, very, very good. Got the recipe, perfect. Go to here. And you can go to right there. Go in, you can go in. In and in. Then we'll do a few outputs in here. Then we'll just need a bit of power down here. And can you be placed in between? No, you will have to place on the outside if we do this. Fine. Oh, they actually line up with two square grids. That's quite fun. So there we are. Antimatter being produced. Those we will turn into antimatter fuel rods next episode. And then we have all the three things we need to turn these into uh, what's it called? Antimatter fuel rods and into our artificial sun. So, um, yeah, I will end the episode here. Uh, do comment what you think about our current setup up here. Launching uh, rockets for days. Uh, might want to hook up the rest again at some point when we have enough power. But for now at least, this is launching quite well. And our Dyson Sphere is getting close to 1 gigawatt of power. And uh, things are just getting built nice and uh, quickly so with that thank you so much for watching guys do remember to like and subscribe if you think this is cool and do comment what you think about our uh, current uh, plan of going for artificial sun in the next episode i think it'll be cool and uh, yeah come chat with me on discord about it it's always fun seeing you guys there so uh, with that i've been Negre, and i'll see you next episode bye guys